Regional referral hospitals and district administrations have until September to provide accountability for the COVID-19 funds received in the last financial year. Each district and regional referral hospital received 165 million shillings and 272 million shillings consecutively to fight COVID-19 at district level. However, the Minister for Health, Dr. Jane Ruther Cheng, says the ministry cannot release more money due to lack of accountability. In the interim, the Ministry of Health has gone ahead to set out criteria for resources and has costed out uh, funds for the districts and the hospitals. And we have taken into consideration the size of the district, the population size, whether the district has a point of entry and certain economic activities that are now a potential danger for uh, risk to COVID-19. And using that criteria, we have graded the districts into high risk, medium risk, and low risk. And funds will be provided based on this after we have received accountability. While in Imbali, Dr. Cheng commissioned a data hub and a regional coordination team comprising UPDF officers, the police, district health officers, among others, who will be responsible for handling COVID-19 in the region. The situation room you see here is the first of its kind at the regional level. And the reason it has been set up in Bali region is because the very first COVID-19 death in the country was recorded here. But also the characteristics of this region, it has about six border districts. And this center here will be collecting and coordinating information for a much faster response regionally. There will be seven technical members that will be seated in the situation room and we will have a team of led by the Mbale Regional Hospital Director. We shall also have the third division commander, Lieutenant Kano Bamtaze. These regional teams mirror what is taking place at the center where we have an incident commander and several pillars under him. I must say that so far they've done a good job. We have commissioned the Emergency Operations Center. We have also been able to receive a report of what has been transpiring. And to date, we take note that although the number of cases is still uh, what I would refer to as stable, we are not seeing lots of other cases come up. Dr. Cheng also noted that the ministry will conduct a rapid assessment for COVID-19 in Kampala, focusing on high business areas like arcades Chikubo, markets, taxi and bus parks. We have so far sent out a team to carry out a survey in those arcades and give us the necessary information for decision making. We encourage all researchers and countries to do an effort of developing vaccines. But we also encourage and in, try to ensure that it goes through a rigorous scientific review. The Ministry of Health is planning to have a situation room for all regions for improved response towards fighting COVID-19. Walter Mwesije, NTV.